This is the tilt cylinder nut removal. It's been probably about the biggest, hardest task on this Bobcat 873. Um, I broke my vise. I uh, almost tipped over the chain vise that I had this lodged in, or set in, I should say. And uh, I ended up having some success here. I just ended up trying to, I watched another guy's video. I can't take full credit for this, but this is what he did. He stuck the end of his shaft into the uh, loader like that. And I thought about that earlier, but I thought there's no way that's gonna work. That's just gonna mess things up worse. But he had his in there. He had his all strapped up and I thought, mm, I probably should strap it up, but I'm not going to. And I'm actually using an inch and three quarter socket. And I got the ratchet in there now. It's so using a breaker bar with that, those two pieces of metal. And then I hit it with some heat. Probably two or three minutes with that torch right on that nut and thread area, kind of where they meet. And I'll tell you what, I didn't think it was going to work, but I got it loose. And it's it's coming off. It's it's definitely on there, but it's definitely coming a lot easier. And uh, yeah, I bought a little socket set, inch and an eighth up to two inch. Came with a ratchet, breaker bar, all for about seventy bucks. So finally got that through that's that seems to be the hardest part on these lift cylinders is getting those nuts off there so that is the way I did it